Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be bumping the Coliseum up one more prestige level. It's now prestige 7 and we've been doing this daily since I created the uh, outpost uh, on my channel. I did a one hour video on its basic design and then each prestige level we've been adding more traps, guards, uh, manipulating the base a little bit to get better results. And right now we're at seven. We're going to be going to prestige level eight. So this is the Coliseum here. If you look at the numbers, it only got one raid attempt in 24 hours. That's all it got. For 24 hours, it got one raid attempt. And, and for that one raid attempt, the person died 12 times. So not really a lot of people running through it. I did make a change that we're going to go into it right now. So let's go into it right now. And I'm going to explain the change. Because one of the main things that I did yesterday's video was to add a bomb ejector right there at the entrance. But I had forgotten that I had put on an angle of uh, an incinerator up there. See in the ceiling? It's up there in the ceiling. So the bomb ejector that I put here, I kind of made that trap mute. And so I removed it. So what I ended up doing was putting the bomb ejector here. And I put another one down here. Just at the top of these. So if they run down here to take these out or to retrieve their bolts, that, that might get them. Same thing with, with coming down here to retrieve their bolts. Or Because I know when I was watching a lot of video of people running this thing, to get away from this flame, uh, let me just put something else in my hand to make this easier. All right. So for them to get out of this flame uh, range, they would shoot this trap and then run here and tuck themselves in here and hide here for a second. But by doing that, I'm hoping that that trap now gets them. All right. So let's prestige this thing. Uh, we got to hit escape, uh, prestige. So we're going to get, the board does tell you what you, where I'm circling here, what you're going to get for prestiging it. So 250 uh, more capacity is what we're going to get. I just got it memorized when I go to do these things because I've done so many bases. So when we get this base finally to mastered, I'm going to then create another hour video on a new base concept and we're going to go through this process again every day to see how we can change it around. So it's really hard to uh, make many changes when I had only had that one runner for 24 hours. Come on, anti-gravity, there we go. We only had that one runner for the 24 hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just look around here. I don't want to do sentinel spam, so I've got one sentinel here in the back uh i don't have a second one i've got one here in the middle and i got one here in the front i think that's fair to kind of not make it feel like sentinel spam i've maxed out my guards so now it just comes down to how i can change the what we've got here one of my tombs is right here i know the other tomb i think is on this side over here somewhere yeah the other tomb is right here and then there's a tomb outside all right so i think what i want to do is just maybe put a um right here okay i got a flame at that end they're going to be coming around this corner. So the thing is, is do I put something in the ceiling? I've got, uh, I've got some stuff there. This I don't think. I'm going to get rid of that trap there. I don't think I'm going to put this, uh, this, that uh, what I got in my hand on that block. I don't think that was going to be helpful. I do think if I do this. I'm thinking I'm going to put a piston trap right on this wall here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, burning piston on it. So as they come down this hallway, or they come around this corner, to come down this hallway, they're more apt to run in the center here 
because they don't want to deal with that. But that also means that um, people can see it through this. So what I can do is I'm going to take this and take off the hardened skin. And I'm going to make it opaque and I'm going to leave splatter on it so they can run through it now. But what they're going to do is they're going to run themselves into a piston with that mod, with the uh, burning piston mod. So now they can run through it and it's got splatter and they can, can, they can run right through it into that trap. So the other thing I want to do on this side, I want to put a impaler trap there. I want to put an impaler trap there and right where this, these uh, guards, I'm going to put the impaler trap and I'm going to put it right there. So now when they go to hop the, the fence, basically, they got a chance of just jumping into these impaler traps. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing here. Here. So when they're, when they're trying to jump through this thing or they don't want to be at ground level, because I've noticed that a few of them just hop to this and then they jump down on these blocks. They go right to the ceiling with their grappler and they grapple across. But now they don't have many places to touch down uh, smoothly. And it puts them back down into this area. It kind of forces them to stay down low here. Because up here, they, they had a chance of of jumping into those, uh, those, those traps there. Those uh, impaler traps. Let me see here. I'm going to put another one on that here. And one... Okay, outpost exceeds capacity. All right, well, really, that's what I wanted to do. I mean, I think that helps on the, them jumping the... Uh, they got to be Johnny on the spot if they go to jump the wall, the front wall here now, if they decide that's what they want to do. And if they try to come down to a safe landing spot, they might be jumping down onto these, uh, these traps. So that's really it, folks. I mean, there's not really much more I could add to the Coliseum. You know, I'm at capacity. I don't want it to feel like too much Sentinel spam. I don't. I want it to feel like it's challenging, but not like impossible. I and mean, I want it to be somewhat fun. And I think I've done that with the modifications that I've done today. So that puts us at six oh to six thousand nine out of six thousand twenty five. And I think we've done pretty good for today's update. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And this has been the Tarkus Zone.